Hi students, so today we are coming back again to learn from 3, chapter 2.3 and we stop until here regarding harmful substance to um, our body. Name one substance released by plant that is harmful to our human body. Okay, so for this one it will be pollen. State one symptom of each of the following respiratory disease. One symptom. Symptom means the thing that you can see, for example, like coughing, um, sleepy after you got lung cancer or difficulty in breathing. So one symptom for each of these. So we can see the answer from here for lung cancer. We can see that um, symptom, here also got say symptom of lung cancer is the persistent coughing. <laughs> blood, or oh, got blood or not coughing, and phlegm. Phlegm is the the thing, uh, the liquid, uh, the thing. And feeling pain when breathing. So this is the symptom. Um, maybe I just write one. Uh, persistent coughing is enough. The rest right here. Persistent coughing. Okay, so for lung cancer, we can say persistent coughing. So we can hear symptoms of MCN include shortness of breath, pain, and breathing. So maybe I just copy here. Uh, shortness of breath. Okay, so right here, shortness of breath, bronchitis. So we can see here, shortness of breath. Okay, let's put it down here, shortness of breath. And asthma, what is the symptom? <laughs> so symptom of asthma includes shortness of breath, wheezing, and coughing. So maybe I just copy this down. Um, short of breath, wheezing, and coughing. Mm, let's put it down here. Okay, name two type of r respiratory disease that are caused by harmful substance in cigarette smoke. Two types of respiratory disease that are caused by harmful substance. Two sickness. Why is it? So for this one, um, harmful substance um, in smoking. So in smoke, we already learned, right? Got two, right? One is star and nicotine, right? Because nicotine is acidic, okay? So star and nicotine, what are the disease? So for this one, okay, so maybe I just put lung cancer and emphysema. They are caused by harmful substance. What is mean by passive smoker? Okay, so we can look at here, um, the page, what is this page? Page 62. Passive smoker is a person who does not smoke but inhales secret smoke like me and you lah. Because we didn't smoke. So, yep. Usually teacher don't smoke, right? Teacher don't smoke. Doctor also usually don't smoke. A person who does not smoke but inhale cigarette smoke, okay, it's very bad for our health. That's why they always put a sign do not smoke at the playground, do not smoke at the um, park, especially playground, correct or not? Because playground got children, right? we don't want our children to inhale the bad smoke, especially baby and children. Do not smoke at the hospital. Again, got baby and children also. Adaptation in respiratory system. Adaptation. Um, how does our lung work adapt? You know what it does adapt mean? Adapt means um, get used to it. Adapt and change. For example, if you don't adapt to the new world, you are going to lose your job because the new world needs you use computer. Either you learn to use computer and then, or you say, I don't know, I don't want to learn, I don't want to adapt, then you will lose your job. So you we adapt to the environment. Adapt res in respiratory system means our lung. How does this help us to breathe properly in our lung? So in our lung, um, 
First, it's a very moist surface. Why moist surface? Because got water. Water will allow the oxygen to diffuse. For example, this is the fish. Could I always use this example? This is the fish. How this fish breathe? If I take this thing and close it, the fish will die. But if I open it, the fish will survive. Because if I open this, the oxygen will diffuse into the liquid and the carbon dioxide will come out from the liquid. So same like our lung as well, correct or not? When we breathe, the oxygen also will go into our blood. The lung got the liquid. Here got water, got liquid. Correct or not? That's why we got liquid moist surface to help in our respiratory system. It is thin. Very, very thin. Let's see. Can we see? Is there any picture of our blood capillary? Um, nope, there is no picture of our blood capillary. Um, but the capillary is very, very thin. If I'm allowed to draw it, means this is the lung alveolus. This one is only one cell thick. Only one cell thick. And this is your blood. Your blood will go like a highway here. So it's very, very thin, the blood. So the oxygen is easily diffused to the blood because it's very, very thin. Thin until you cannot see. Thin until like, like this. Until you cannot see. One cell, you know how small is one cell? Yes, your lung alveoli is one cell thick. It's the small. Last surface area, yes. Our lung has a very large surface area. So if I'm going to open your lung, I open the lung and I put on the floor, it will be big as a tennis court, around 50 to 75 meters square. Means I take your lung, uh, your lung that you and I have now, only one person, I just little bit, little bit, I put on the floor, it will accumulate up to one tennis court. So big, you know, you know how big is a tennis court. Why you want to have so big? Because the bigger the surface, the more diffusion and diffusion of oxygen in and diffusion of carbon dioxide out from the alveolus. Clear not? So these are the three. These are the common question that the exam will ask. The exam will usually ask what three features that help to um, that help to ensure efficiency of gases exchange student will say one moist thin large then you will get wrong you cannot say like that at least it must be a sentence so you can say a uh, moist surface area of respiratory system or moist surface of alveolus to allow the gases exchange the thickness of the blood capillary is only one cell thick. Okay, it must be a sentence. And for large, you can say, um, a large surface area of respiratory structure. I can already. Just a simple sentence. Like this, you will get three marks. Or, or you want to explain even more than you need to explain even more. Okay, moist surface, for example, amphibian. How amphibian breathe can through gases exchange on the land, correct or not? The same when we see the frog, the frog skin like got water, got like liquid, correct or not? So this thing is very permeable to gas. Permeable to gas means what? Means the gas can go in, the gas can go out. Permeable. The skin of frog very moist, covered with mucus, causes it to dissolve easily. Under the layer, the skin is dense, network capillary, increase diffusion rate, the skin and the blood capillary. So, yep. So, the frog can breathe in the water or through the moist outer skin. So, got two ways. Either you want to breathe by lung or you want to breathe by the skin. Hmm. Good, no? Like human also like that. Yeah. Very good. Then we can swim in the swimming pool for our 
because we can breathe by our skin, correct or not? But only me and you, we have a sticky skin if we want to breathe in the in the swimming pool. Gills. So for what is gill? This gill. I mean, I don't have gill, but the fish got the gill at the beside the face. Okay. So this is the gill. Um, how does this gill works? Gill are made of two rows of filaments that have many thin and flat projection of lamellae action in figure 2.2 so we can see that this is the flow of water and again this is the blood capillary as the water pass by due to the concentration of oxygen is higher the oxygen will go into the blood so we can see uh, filament means what? filament is not the light uh. I know you know like filament is the light bulb, right? Filament actually it is a tiny, also can mean a tiny string. It tell it tell filament. That is why when we see a light bulb, correct or not, we call this a filament. It tell ma, like a string, it tell. So that's why we say this is a filament. So in this filament, we can see that the water will go through here. This one is oxygen. This one is the flow of wood. So, how to say, uh, like, like the aquarium, you no need to ask the oxygen go in. Oxygen, I want you go in the water. The oxygen will go automatically go in due to the oxygen of concentration is more in the air than the water. So, the oxygen automatically go in. You no need to ask the carbon dioxide go up or I want to take the carbon dioxide, put outside, no need. Because due to the theory of concentration, if here got more, it will come out by itself. Same like your body. As I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. Outside oxygen is more than my inside, it will automatically go in. It through diffusion. So as the fish like this swim, touch the blood capillary, automatically the oxygen will diffuse into the blood and from the blood carbon dioxide is higher it will automatically diffuse out i will use the word diffuse i didn't use the word come in go out and you can say come in go out okay the oxygen come into the water the oxygen the carbon dioxide go out from the water or the better word i we want we can use is the oxygen diffuse into the water or the carbon dioxide diffuse out so Yep, so this is how, uh, actually, if you look at the picture, in terms of human, frog, fish, actually, we are still using the same thing, concentration. Outside more oxygen, body less, oxygen will automatically diffuse into it, like, the, like this aquarium. It's actually the same thing. Only, I would say, is the organs is slightly different. One use lung, another use gill, another use skin. But it's still the same thing. Oxygen diffuses into the liquid. Because we, we also got liquid. Man. You don't see liquid. Uh, liquid is our uh, nah, water. Lah. Water is here already. Got water. Trachea. Also the same thing. Okay, they have trachea. They have air sac. Trachea system. And trachea has a spore known as the spiracles. Controlled by the valve. And this is how the grasshopper break. Okay, so this one you can read by yourself. Uh, the reason I skip because I think exam seldom ask lah. I think they will ask you to label it. Label what is this, what is this, but um, they seldom ask about grasshopper. I don't know lah, it might come out, okay? But, uh, okay. Um, name the respiratory structure following animal. A, B, C, D. So, for fish is gill, for insect is trachea system. You can find up there, okay, your notes. And amphibian is using moist outer skin and lung. They need to use both. Lah. If you, I think if you put too long in the water, also the frog will die. Because eventually he need lung. Lah. Not, not that efficient lah, compared to... I think lung is more efficient, is it? Because we also use lung, even though the organism very big. State two adaptation in the outer skin of 
frog that facilitate the quick efficient gases exchange between the outer skin and the surrounding. So two adaptations from the frog we can see from here is uh, it's covered with a layer of mucus so that it helps the gases diffuse easily. Another one is it has a dense network blood capillary so the diffusion of the red gas is increased. So the keyword is layer of mucus and dense network capillary. So let's put it down here. Um, two adaptation of rock. So let's see. Okay, so it had number one, it, it has um, mucus, moist skin, such as it has, uh, what's the word? Uh? It has a moist skin covered with mucus to facilitate, you can write help lah, to facilitate um, gas diffusion. I can I, I don't want to write gas go in go out uh, because that's not the proper word. Another one we can say it has a dense network blood capillary. It has dense network uh, it has dense network of blood capillary to again I repeat back the same word so easy for you to remember to facilitate gas diffusion not diffusing ah uh, diffusion mm. let's make it longer a bit mm. yeah it has moist skin covered with music pula covered with mucus to facilitate gas diffusion but of course, if you write diffusing also, I think the teacher will give it correct. But this is science, not English class. It has dense, it has dense network, dense me a lot lah. But capillary to facilitate gas diffusion, so similar, or facilitate gas exchange up to you which word you want to use. Why is the circulatory system of insect not involve the respiratory mechanism of insect? Again, let's read the question again. Why? This one got the brain. Uh, more difficult, is it? Why the circuit system of insect not involved in the respiratory mechanism of insect? So basically, I think um, this one, I'm, I'm not totally sure. But... Okay, so this is this question I'm not sure, but I think it's this one due to its small size. Um, when they are talking about circulation does not have respiratory system, means like why the insect don't have lung, the insect don't have artery, the insect don't really have the heart. Or no, you cannot see the heart that is pumping the blood to move the blood. So why? So um, I would say it's due to its small size, insect use spherical and the air pocket to increase the rate of gas exchange. Um, there is no need of artery or vein or for the thing to flow in and flow out because the size is so small. So just put in the oxygen then can I do? Okay, no need to be so complex. So, if you got another better answer, you can leave it down at the comment below. What is the importance of exercise in maintaining a healthy respiratory system? Like, why exercise is important? Okay, so for this one, what is the important exercise? So, exercise will re improve breathing and respiratory rate. Um, exercise also might burn cholesterol, correct? Not exercise burn cholesterol so that this is your blood vein. If there are more cholesterol, it become smaller, and at last it will block. Block that it will cause stroke, and heart attack will happen. That's why if your cholesterol is high, it might cause heart attack, because the at last the your pipe uh, blood vessel becomes so small. So when you exercise, it might burn the cholesterol away, or reduce the cholesterol. So 
there's a lot of answer. I do not know what answer the 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 real answer of this textbook. Leave it a comment below. And sometimes when you say it's the correct answer, but you still get it wrong because it's not in the marking scheme. Uh, so I think the what we can do is we find the common answer that usually majority of people can accept, especially for from two syllabus. So you, know, you do this, if you got your teacher give you another answer, help me to put in the comment below, then, then at last I can help other students as well. Choosing a healthy lifestyle is important for respiration. State two examples of healthy lifestyle. So two healthy lifestyle, so maybe exercise is very important and eat healthy food, correct or not? Um, enough sleep, usually for me, if people say I will ask three things, you got sleep or not? You got eat healthy food or not? You got exercise or not? Do these three things and you will have a healthy lifestyle, okay? So that's it for this uh, video, I hope you enjoy it and i see you next time, thank you and sayonara.